Oh. All right, so I've had some time to uh, get a little more used to the uh, sim racing setup. I'm um, liking it a lot. Uh, the only thing I need to do, I'm seeing a lot of people say online that uh, there's a lot of uh, setting adjustments that can uh, make it feel a lot better. So I need to do some research and uh, hopefully find some settings uh, that work out a little better, try them and uh, see which ones uh, feel best for me. Uh, but just right out of the box and playing it for a bit, uh, just tremendously big difference. Uh, love being able to uh, ease into the turns, uh, not having the twitchy uh, steering inputs uh, in the corners. Braking is huge difference. Uh, before on the controller, it was almost just like on or off pegging on the ABS. But now you can actually modulate. We got Archie over there barking at something. Um, even more so than that, I got this uh, load set mod for my pedal that makes it a lot stiffer and even feels better. Uh, I'll show you that, and then I got some updates for my shifter to uh, make that feel a little more realistic. All right, so this here is the uh, load cell mod. I kind of threw that on there without uh, filming that. Very easy to put in. Um, right here is the bracket that a little rubber um, piece was on for the uh, factory pedal that just gave it a little bit of resistance uh, pressing against. Uh, this just bolts to the same spot that that comes out. And then uh, from what I can tell, uh, what it does is sets up right behind the pedal. That way when you're pressing against it, it actually bends this metal that has some resistance. So what it does when you press in the brake, it gets a little bit of play by itself in the rubber bushing there. And then uh, once you have that resistance built up, um, you really have to press into it. Like it has a lot of tension. And then that piece bends in, and uh, that way you can give it a progressively more brake and a lot more realistic feel than just the uh, pedal that's uh, spring-loaded. I also just got in my pieces for the shifter that are meant to uh, increase its realism, because uh, right now, I think I showed it before, just real easy floating between the gears. Oh my god, was some uh, pieces from Rick Motec um, that'll help change that. I got uh, this piece right here, just the realistic shifter mod that uh, gives it some resistance in between the uh, shifts so it feels more like you're going into a gear and I got this adapter plate that is supposed to uh, make the uh, throws feel a little bit shorter so we'll get those on and uh, see what kind of difference we have All right, so now that we got all the mods done on the uh, sim setup, that uh, load cell brake mod, the uh, realistic feel uh, shifter mod, and the uh, short shifting mod, uh, we are set to go ahead and give it a try again and see if it made any difference. Here's the uh, completed uh, shifter assembly with that uh, spacer for the short shift mod 
and now you can even feel and hear um, when it goes into gear. So before where it was like real easy, it was just like one finger to throw it into the gear. Now it, it actually has resistance going into and coming out of the gears. So definitely feels a lot better. Uh, so we'll see how that does it on play. Um, just kind of testing out with the brake pedal instead of it just easily pushing to the floor. I got that resistance wall where it uh, just it gradually allows harder pressure, um, which I think will help out a lot with uh, my heel toe because before you go to heel toe and it's just uh, smashing the brake all the way down and just uh, locking up the brakes or running off uh, ABS. So now I can have a more gradual pressure on the brake. Uh, so I think that'll help out a lot as well. So let's load up Forza and get things going. I can already tell you it is a lot better. The uh, braking force is just amazing now.
All right, so that gave me a bad slap of a 233.176, which I am pretty sure that is the fastest lap I've done on this uh, track with this build of my car. Um, I know when I was doing some test runs with the sim setup uh, without the mods on it, I think I had the fastest lap of a high 234. Uh, so I've shaved off over a second um, previously. I don't know if it has, you know, just more time playing on it, but I think the big part of it was the brake. Um, having that ability to really uh, um, give fine inputs in the braking uh, is huge. I really think that helps out on the big uh, braking zones. Um, and like I said, with the uh, stiffer um, brake engagement up top, it is definitely a lot easier to do my heel-toe downshifts. I was getting a lot of my downshifts where it was like doing the end game, like where I was grinding gears or where it, I wasn't getting enough uh, kick on the throttle and uh, wasn't getting the revs up and it would be like a jerky uh, downshift. So definitely, definitely think it was worth it, uh, especially the brake mod. Uh, the shifter, you know, feels better. It's nice to feel that engagement into the gears. I don't know if that's really made any more, you know, performance and helping me, but uh, it feels nice. So I guess that's good.